Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. Pilot shortage, Alpha notes record pilot numbers. Loft Dynamics opens VR flight sim facility. Petition demands solutions to lack of ultralight instructors. And I'm your host, Talon Lee. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to future aviators and aviation professionals. Airborne Flight Training is brought to you in part by King Schools. King Schools has been leading the effort in producing expert aviation training programs and computer-based learning software for 50 years. Find out why pilots love King teaching at kingschools.com. Now let's get into today's stories. Pilot shortage, Alpha notes record pilot numbers. Alpha is touting updated data from the FAA showing the agency issued 11,225 airline pilot certificates during the 2023 calendar year, exceeding analyst forecasts and airline demand for new aviators. This is the second year in a row that pilot production numbers are breaking records. In addition to the impressive pilot production numbers, the number of certified flight instructors totaled 93,567, a nearly 20% increase over 2019, further demonstrating that the airline pilot pipeline remains strong and robust, and there is no need to make unstudied, arbitrary changes to U.S. aviation safety regulations. Captain Jason Ambrosi, ALPA president, said, quote, Corporate special interests in Washington have been crying wolf about a lack of available, qualified airline pilots, misrepresenting the facts in a naked attempt to protect their profits while advocating changes in the law that would significantly complicate air travel for millions of Americans." End quote. As the Senate prepares for the markup of the FAA reauthorization on Thursday, special interests continue to promote misinformation and misleading data to manufacture a crisis that will have real complications for air travel by introducing uncertainty into the system through raising the pilot retirement age to 67. After the break, FAA's Whitaker opposes airline retirement increase. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm Barry Knutula, the CEO of King Schools, and you're invited to join me, John and Martha, and everyone at King Schools as we celebrate 50 years of helping pilots like you achieve their aviation goals. Until February 15th, you can save up to $250 on select King Schools courses. Just go to kingschools.com slant 50 years for all the details. But hurry, these savings expire on February 15th. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. FAA's Whitaker opposes airline retirement increase. A letter from the FAA opposing the proposed airline retirement age increase has begun making the rounds this week, showing the agency's desire to study the issue more before committing to a change. FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker said it would be, quote, crucial to provide the agency an opportunity to conduct research and determine mitigations, end quote making it clear he wouldn't give his blessing until he has some stacks of paper to back up the change. Jazz Aviation Pilots Union elects new leadership. Jazz Aviation Pilots, represented by the Airline Pilots Association, elected four officers for a two-year term beginning February 7, 2024 and ending February 6, 2026. Captain Claude Baraglia was re-elected chair of the Jazz Aviation Master Executive Council for an eighth consecutive term. Captain Baraglia is a Bombardier CRJ-200-900 pilot based in Montreal. JetBlue Spirit merger due to be heard this summer. 
JetBlue has gotten a court date for its appeal for the desired merger with Spirit Airlines, but things won't be moving as quickly as they desire. The first U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals will take the case before June of this year. The case is actually being taken care of somewhat expeditiously as far as legal things tend to go. JetBlue had petitioned to have their appeal considered by July 24th, a deadline their merger agreement had set to close the deal had it all gone as planned. International Test Pilot School Chosen for Netherlands Air Force Education The International Test Pilot School in Canada has renewed a contract with the Royal Netherlands Air Force, allowing them to continue providing its master's test pilot and flight test engineer courses. Starting this month, Dutch military pilots and engineers will begin a, quote, rigorous 12-month program which includes over 500 hours of lectures and exam and 120 flight hours of instruction and exercises, end quote. Flight training at the International Test Pilot School uses a fleet of 15 different aircraft types. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Loft Dynamics opens VR flight sim facility. Loft Dynamics, formerly VRM Switzerland, has opened its first virtual reality flight simulation hub at its North American headquarters, located at the Santa Monica Municipal Airport. The hub features the company's Airbus H125 VR flight sim training device. Loft Dynamics' full-motion FSTDs reportedly deliver high-fidelity, immersive pilot training at 120th the cost and 110th the size of legacy simulators. Fabi Riesen, founder and CEO of Loft Dynamics, said, quote, We recognized a significant unmet demand to experience our technology in person in the U.S. Establishing a physical space became the obvious solution, making it more accessible to fly our sims, practice a range of maneuvers, and fully grasp the power of VR technology in this capacity. Our SMO location offers convenient access for a high concentration of pilots and enhances on-site and remote support for our North American customers, end quote. Loft Dynamics expanded to North America in 2021, integrating its simulators at various flight schools, helicopter operators, and global regulatory organizations, from Airbus helicopters to the FAA. The company also announced that the LAPD Air Support Division, the largest municipal airborne law enforcement operation in the world, has initiated the purchase of Loft Dynamics' H-125 VR FSTD. And after these messages, petition demands solutions to lack of ultralight instructors. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Petition demands solutions to lack of ultralight instructors. Another aviation-oriented change.org petition has surfaced. This time, the petition addresses the serious deficit in our ultralight instruction ranks and seeks the FAA's reaction in fixing this serious matter. Started by Jim Farr, the chairman of the EAA Ultralight and Light Sport Advisory Council, who has been, quote, tirelessly advocating for the ultralight aviation community's needs and concerns. The most pressing issue we face as a community is a severe shortage of dedicated ultralight aircraft instructors. Prior to the inception of the light sport rules, there were approximately 8,000 dedicated instructors providing ultralight-specific training across the U.S. Immediately after these rules came into effect, this number dropped to zero and has not recovered in any meaningful way to support transitioning pilots and new pilots wishing to take up the sport. This is a critical safety shortfall, evidenced by the numbers of GA pilots who crash on landing due to inappropriate responses to low-mass-slash-high-drag aircraft landing characteristics, and by the significant number of new pilots seeking readily available and convenient training without success." End quote. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.